just real quick first talk about uh the price hike that we may be looking at with the next gen consoles and i'm talking about if you guys haven't seen recently they dropped the 2k uh 2k21 the cover the game the the cover of the game for 2k21 which is a, a honor comm- commemoration to kobe um with a special uh edition cover art for 2k21 uh which looks fire by the way the cover art for 2k21 is absolute flames even makes me want to get the game and i don't play sports games um a 2k20 legend edition is is better honestly but it's a dope tribute to kobe i'm not gonna hold you true i mean i just i just saw the art and i was like that's gangster like everything yeah, like, no, i want it, that it i want to take the art and have that as a poster or something like i just that's why i wanted like something like that not even just the fact the game itself the art itself is, is, is fire yeah they got a couple i guess different versions i saw the one it was okay. just like it was uh it was like the tile like this the i don't know if i even should i yeah i guess you know we could just bring this up again it's like um, a purple one for those who haven't seen, you know, and for, you know, of the course, for those forever. Who in, uh, to floor seats. Uh, if you like, you know, like what you hear, um, <laughs> I mean, with these topics, not in terms of these topics, but just in general, if you like what you hear and you're just tuning in, you know, to this another episode of floor seats, uh, yeah, they like, have, comment and subscribe. They have like two different stuff. ones, like the, uh, the current gen ones is kind of like an oil painting. Which looks sick. Yeah, it makes it hard because both of these look good. Well, they're both oil painting, but one has like more like the yellows and stuff, and the other has like the purples. It's like the PS5 exactly. and the Series X. Yeah, and I'm nah, just these, seeing these were now. both really dope. <clears throat> and I'll even. Uh, Kudos I'll to whoever did that. That was that's really good, man. Nah, yeah, and I think, uh, yeah, see, so you, I saw this, I saw this one, but with the purple. Um. Yeah. yeah. So the purple one is the next gen. The purple and is the, the next gen. Mm. Yeah. And then the the one with the more yellow to it is current gen. Hold up! I'm about to just. At least that's what I gathered from GameStop. Yeah, I just want to pull up just the image itself, yo. I'm not even trying to find the purple one. But basically, um, so 2K21, the game, the lame looks just by the looks of it. And, you know, the tribute they did for Kobe. Game looks really good. Game looks good. Um, but... Uh, which is why we brought this topic in the first place. The game's listing price is sixty nine ninety nine. Of course, for those who own a console now, or have been the last uh, are familiar buying games for the last ten years, or for you know since the last gen, uh, we had we dealt with another price hike coming in, transitioning into PS three to PS four, um, and Xbox three sixty. Um, uh, into the next gen Xbox, you know, basically games about games finna be costing seventy bills a pop now. That's uh, what it's I looking like. I honestly don't feel like they will. <clears throat> I just feel like, um, you know, two K is trying to get over on niggas. A couple other developers are trying to do it too. That's my next We're, point. Because other um, developers were saying that there might be the need for it, or other developers might be because this was gonna happen. I'm I actually, don't know. you go ahead. I didn't I want me to cut you off. For it. Like, especially like with digital games alone, like you're not like a lot of the money, like a good chunk of the money comes like from like shipping, packaging, the manufacturing of the disc and stuff like that. But, like, in the case of, like, a lot of digital games and and situations where people want digital upgrades, it costs you nothing for that digital upgrade. Like, there are, um, you know, versions of the games that will play on the current gens and then give you the free upgrade. Damn. Um, (laughs) (laughs) You know, in which they should, which 
I think they should do that. I feel like it's kind of kind of wild that you're uh, trying to charge an extra 10 Man. for the current gen. Like, especially because a lot of people ain't going to buy this shit physical anyway. Like, well, well, actually, with the Mamba Forever edition, yeah, people might actually buy that physical. I would just like yeah. that as a poster. Just like That's you said. That's what I'm saying, dog. I, I honestly do want it as a poster. Like, I don't know. I honestly do. And that's Same thing with the... One. With the the D Wade one, like that one specifically, I I'd take that as a poster. I know, yeah. You've been. I remember uh, when we had a podcast, you know, back in a in another timeline. Um, yeah, you when we were talking about uh, two two um, two K, it was two K twenty where they were having D Wade and how you were. Yeah, you just been. A, I think yeah, you just you were just a fan of that D Wade cover. That cover's fire. Um, I'm but fine. yeah, like you know. I'm just not a fan of like this way of thinking with it. You know what I mean? Like, I don't think it should cost, like, I don't think $70 games should be the norm. I think you drop the current gen by $10. And then from there you, uh, you know, go from there. Like, you know, current gen should be 50. Next gen should be 60. I I, I agree with you, but that's just not how it's been over the years. It's literally been ten dollars a price hike for every gen. And I think and I feel like I feel like now uh, this is more pressed than not the a, others. So back in like the Nintendo, Super Nintendo era, game prices were the Wild West. They charged whatever they felt like it for games. So like Super Mario World could have went for seventy dollars. Um, Earthbound could have went for a hundred back then. They they basically charged whatever they wanted and based it on like availability. But now, especially in the advent of digital games, like like PS3 games worth like sixty dollars. PS4 games are sixty dollars. PS5 games should be sixty dollars. Like, why are we forcing it? Man, I don't know because I feel like, and I'm, and because okay, my thing is, and there's the intro of the next gen. One of the one of the games that's, uh, and I noticed this for PS3 going to PS4, and I can't say I'm trying to think. Um, I'm trying. I'm trying to even think if what it was when PS2 going to PS3 and Xbox going to Xbox 360. Um, that basically 2K, 2K is, it has been one of those games that, you know, they're, they're always uh, one of the game publishers that's always ready with a game for the launch of the console. Like they always have, they always kind of plan out to drop a game when a console is going to launch. And they, have, they always have a game ready. They're always going to have a game ready, um, especially for NBA 2K. So I, I only say this and because whenever I've noticed that they have a game ready is they're the ones that tell me about the price going forward for that gen console. And last time I remember it, because going into the price hike from, you know, uh, 49 from $50 to $60, I was still in the same realm where just like, oh, maybe they're just really trying to charge it, but they're not going to price hike the next gen console of games like that. But they did. So all I'm saying People aren't is, gonna be buying games at this point. See, that's what I'm saying. See, that's seventy dollars for a game, bro. For two K right. that you're gonna buy again in a year, bro. That's the oh, thing. They 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 will like Niggas what has buying. changed that will Niggas, that Niggas makes will buy this the PS4 gen. version and will not upgrade to the next gen for a while, and then they're gonna have to drop the price on that. I mean, the game drops the price after like four months anyway. They're just trying to get the extra money off rip. Game drops to forty dollars, like True. at the start of the new year. Bro, we know. I, I'm telling you, we both know that. But the fact of the matter is, is that the listing price of this game, if you want this new day one, is seventy dollars. And whatever, and I mean, and I'm seeing the behavior just based off of how I'm telling you, two K sets the precedent since the benchmark for especially prices of the next gen games that I've noticed over the years. And I'm just saying, if you, 
just basically saying, just be ready for the fact that games may start start may start costing seventy dollars, yo. Is that's just I'm, that's just I'm the truth. It just it's shit. just my niggas at Xbox is gonna hold it down. They're like sixty dollars. You know what I mean? Get down or lay down. Yo, you something. better hit up your connects at Microsoft. You better hit up Bill. Bro, I know you still got Bill's I, number, dog. You what know, I, Gates, man, Bill Gates. You think we'd be doing this if I knew Bill Gates? <laughs> <laughs> nah, maybe. I don't know. Dang, I don't know, nigga. Dang, I don't know. But you're real talk? Nah, we, I don't think so. I but, think um, nah, uh, okay. we'll just see what happens with this console generation. I'm generation. not tripping. I mean, cause I, I'm not spending $70 for 2K ever. <laughs> So I'm not I'm not even their target audience. What? Yeah, you're not the 2K fiends. I, I no, there's gonna I be a lot of you. games where I'm like on the edge about, and I'm going if I see a seventy dollar price tag, it's just not happening. All right, so here's the question: Are 2K fiends ruin it for everybody by buying these games at these prices, and then setting the precedent that all these games should be then priced at seventy dollars because the 2K fiends see no problem. So there's the 2K fiends killing it for us. Is they killing our wallets? I don't think they're. I don't think a lot of people are going to upgrade to this next gen right away. To be honest, because this next gen lineup isn't crazy. I feel like they get worse and worse every year. I do feel like they do get worse and worse every year, but I feel like they're faithful. They always have will have the faithful fans, um, the people like I said, like who still believe the console war. <laughs> the console war is still a thing and then there's going to be like <laughs> they're going to be like brothers <laughs> Sony has Bro. once again blessed us <laughs> the only <laughs> with thing the coming of the next at. console the PS5 is upon us brothers who Bro. will partake Steam exists bro we're not paying for that shit bro I'm like, telling you it is. You the way me, I bro. see it is like for the PS5, ain't nothing crazy yet. Like, maybe the Spider-Man game and Ratchet and Clank for me. There's a couple other, like, cool games I saw, but it's like, I'm sure saying $70 worth. I got your 2K Yeah, game. dog. Hey. I'm like, what game is worth $70, bro? I don't know what you do. I mean, I mean even $60. I'd be looking when I'm buying some games at $60. I'm just like, bro, I got to They tried forget. to complain the new Crash was going to be $60. I'm like, shit. Like, oh, why y'all coming for maybe? Crash? New Crash would have to be 60 I don't. I don't think I'd be upset spending sixty on Crash because I know the quality is there. True. Well, like, no, yeah, trust, you know because well, you, 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 you I mean, more invested in the series. I, yeah. From their last two outings of Crash, I know the quality should be there. Crash Team Racing and then the Crash Remake, pretty yeah. much. Crash Trilogy, yeah. Yeah, Crash Nitro, yeah. So. See, but all right, so maybe this is it could be one of those things where people are on the fence, and just you know, the if, quality, if they the quality of games, $70 for question. some Mario, bro. I don't know, I'm clapping, niggas. yeah. See, that's what, I'm, that's what I'm talking about. Like, it's, uh, it's like the quality of games. I say, just so you wrap this up, just because we have way more shit to talk about. The quality of games is going to be in question for me this going into the next gen because now I'm really going to be looking at. I was telling people, it's like, yo, I might even just plan out what games are going to buy for that year. Like, I'm going to look at what's coming out that year and just, like, and then just be like, yo, I'm I'm locked for these games. And, like, and to me, I'm just like, yo, three games, three games, three new games. Oh, nah. That's, two, game, that's 270. That's 210. Sorry, 210 is the new prices. That's before tax. That's 210 for three new nah. games. So, peep game. We do we do it the same way we've been doing this is PS3. You swap PSNs with somebody, I'll copy digital, you put half. That two ten is gonna get you like six games now. We we gotta wait and see what that's gonna look like. I know what you I know what you just said. Bro, if they take that away in PS five, I might not get the console. I might that's what, we gotta wait and see, bro. That's what I'm there's so much we don't we still don't know so much, man. Like I'm saying, we're still I need to just know more features about the console. Exactly. If we're gonna have that feature, uh, cause if I can't share games and I'm just gonna be eating those if I'm gonna be eating the that cost eating like seventy dollars a pop per game, per new game before tax. 
<sighs> what? Excuse me. Bro, you bought like four games. You bought the console. Or was essentially exactly. you're buying, that's all like, like, niggas is bugging. This, this is what people, that's what I'm saying. At that point, psh, get a PC. I'm just going to invest in a PC. I'm going to get these CD keys that randomly, these some of these new AAA games be dropping 70%. And like I, like you said, Steam exists. Like, I don't, I don't understand uh, at this point, like console gaming, the decisions they're making where PC is a thing and they're kind of making these choices pretending like I don't like like my banking house not going to go with a better option for itself. Um, no, yeah, I think that's, that's what I got for the price hike. I think it's going to really put in question these quality of the games we're going to be seeing over the years. Um, the benchmarks that will actually get me to hit buy on certain games is going to be raised much higher. Like, yo, <laughs> yo, ha <laughs> ha. Yo, damn. I, I'm just saying, yo, I'm saying gaming needs to be, gaming needs to be crisp for this new generation. Cyberpunk is going to be looking like it, but everything else, boy. But, you know, let's, let's keep it, let's keep the ball rolling. Let's keep the ball rolling.